everyone, it's me, Xcanadensis, and today I'm going to be doing my little haul from Five Below. I don't usually go there because I hate the vibe in the store. I'm not like a vibe person, but I just do not like going into that store. <laughs> and today proved me right, but I found some cool things, so it was worth it. Um, I found this shirt, first of all, I didn't know they had this, but it's a G1 shirt with um, some of the rainbow ponies, like parasol, and that's really good find. I only have two G1 shirts. One has kind of an embarrassing quote on it. The other one is so full of holes because I wore it too much. I think I got it at Walmart years ago. And then now this one, so cool. I really wanted some more. I want shirts for like every single thing that I collect and I'm not doing a good job in that department at all. Although I can make my own shirts with my Cricut, so I have no excuses. Um, And I kind of spent a lot of money at Five Below. But in my, uh, your honor, in my defense, I wanted to. So I got these because I just really want more like hair things. So these are butterfly clips and yeah, they look good. I want butterfly clips. I have a bunch of vintage ones, but they, I don't want them to break. I, they're very brittle. So now I have some others and like m m mine aren't really matching colors generally. They're just all over the place. So now I'm going to have more to match different color themes. So that's cool. And they were three dollars why not and then i got a pack of scrunchies but i already opened it so but i just can never find hair ties for work even though i keep buying packs i think lego takes them where are you taking them can i have them back please one day i'm gonna find like 20 hair ties just in a corner somewhere so it will be useful to have scrunchies she doesn't mess with scrunchies as much she she specifically likes this kind and I really like putting my hair up, but I can't always... And also, I get headaches really bad. That's why I never wear my hair up. Like, ever since I was a kid, I get really, really bad headaches if you put my... If you, like, contain anything on my head, it just gives me a headache. So these just kind of hold them a little looser, so it helps. And I like them. I don't know what to tell you. Um, and then this I bought on accident. I think it fell into... I was carrying a little box that um, some of the ponies came in to check out and this just ended up there somehow so I have it I don't want this but it was a dollar so he's cute and all I just don't really care for the smaller little pet shops and when I do want them they come in sets anyway so it's like anyway it's fine um I also got these uh, frozen figures just because I thought they were really cute and there I only saw the Olaf initially but I thought like ooh, what if there's a Bruni one so I dug there wasn't a Bruni one but in response to that I bought Anna and Elsa but they were only two dollars so it, it was five dollars total for two of them that's why five below is dangerous you sit there and you're like oh only two dollars that's a good deal and then you spent fifty dollars I spent fifty dollars <laughs> um, but they're really really cute and I like them I just it's kind of annoying that they don't have stands that they don't have stands because like how am I going to display them but I think they'll look really good on display so and I have a ton of frozen one figures but no frozen two figures so they'll they'll help balance it out I love frozen two it's the superior movie but man what was Elsa thinking with this dress Ugh. anyway um there's a bunch of my little ponies but first I'm gonna open the littlest pet shops mm. Yeah, I'm gonna open the Thirsty Pets first. So I can't recall if I've ever bought Thirsty Pet blind bags or if I just, or blind boxes, or if I just bought the vending machine, but we will see. A bunch of these were open at the store, so I had to just pick out ones that weren't. Okay, so this is the hat, so I'm not gonna open that yet because it spoils it. And then this is the pet. It's kind of a bigger one. Okay, let's see what we got. I wish they did not come in plastic. Okay, so I do have this one, but I feel like this, did this one not come in a set? Am I crazy? Um, this is like a bear and he is dressed as, I guess like Sprite, like lime soda, lemon lime soda. Oop, I dropped the little soda can. Okay, so he comes with a little green lime colored soda can. It's fine. Um, I can like trade him or sell him or something. It's okay. Um, and they are, they are cute. See, I just don't understand what the, is that like peanut butter? It's yellow. I just don't know. Um, I like the Thirsty Pets a lot, and I just like the New Little Pet Shops a lot in general, but some of them are really, like, what is going on? <laughs> Hold on, let me look at the series. What if I actually did collect these and I just forgot? I remember buying some, but I thought they were the Hungry Pets. Okay, yeah, so I only have... Do I really only have one and it happens to be that one? That's hilarious. There's a little King one. Uh, okay, so the one that I want the most, let's manifest this, is 
this cat, obviously, but I also really like the hermit crab and obviously the lion. The lion's really cool. All right, so let's see who we got. We only got two blind by exodies, so hoping for the best here. Manifest. If it's another one of that bear, I swear to God. Oh, it's the bunny. Okay, I was gonna say the bunny also is one that I really want. So the bunny's dressed up in like a strawberry outfit. I've never heard of strawberry soda, but I don't drink soda, so maybe that's just me. Um, I think it's supposed to be strawberry, but I see shrimp on her cape, so I don't really know. Really cute. Also, this might not be the one I was thinking from the box. And then... Let's see. Yeah, so... Oh, it's a tomato. What? <laughs> There's supposed to be drink... Well, V8 exists. I guess she's, like, representing V8. Um, oh, I just broke the straw. It went back in. It's fine. Um... So she's representing like a vegetable soda or like a vegetable energy drink. They're energy drinks, right? I've seen them before. I just would never, oh my God, I would never drink that. I am very picky. Um, I can't get the hat on. A little bit difficult. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Um, yeah, that's another thing too. These hats are super fitted for each pet, which is nice because then it looks really good on the pet, but you cannot share them. When I was a kid, most of the accessories for the little pet shops you could like share, but these ones are like highly specialized. See, there's shrimp. What is the shrimp? Is this like some kind of drink that I don't know about that is shrimp and broccoli and tomato flavored? I don't know. I, I, I mean, having the comments is great. I didn't have comments when I bought my last set of Lil's Pet Shop blind bags, so I was totally, I, I still don't know what most of them represented. Um, so yeah, so I got the one that could, I could have gotten as a devil and a rabbit. These were, were these the full $5? I don't remember, and they don't have a price tag on them. Um, I might get more, especially if they were $3.99. Like, I think the Lucky Pets were actually $3.99, and I never got any of these, so I'm excited to see who I got here. I think I need to use scissors, and I don't know where my scissors went, though. No, never mind, okay. So they come in this big fortune cookie, which is such a waste, because what am I gonna do with this big fortune cookie? Unless, oh, it's, is it? I really don't know what that is made out of. Wait, do you crack it? Oh, that's cute though. Do you, I'm scared. Oh, that's fun. But it's like wasteful, because it's just this big piece of foam. That was fun though. <laughs> Okay, so you get your little list, which I'm not going to spoil any of them until the end, and then this accessory, and then the pet. That was genuinely fun to rip open. Okay, to crack open. It's just such a random theme, though. Anyway, let's see which pet we got. He feels smaller. Oh, hello. It's a swan. And interesting, so they kind of had the minimal paint that the original Little Pet Shop blind bags had from the, like, generation everybody likes, the Gen 2. Gen 2? Well, it's like Gen 4, I think, is what they're called at that point, but those are all Gen 2 to me. I don't know. Um, and then she has this charm, because I think they all come with, like, a charm that you put on a bracelet or something, but this one's nice. I don't think I had a swan in these new Little's Pet Shops, so score. I really like the new Little's Pet Shops. I'm not going to lie to you. As an original Little's Pet Shop super fan, I really like them. Do y'all actually want to see my little pet shop collection? I have a lot of those pet shops. I don't understand why they use plastic here and then plastic here. Oh, I have a fortune. It just says cat calendar. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know what that means. All right. It's a bad omen. That means they're going to have bad luck and get a double. Okay. That is so cute and fun, but again, like, it's a little wasteful. Okay, and then I got six. Oh, you know what? This is probably, like, the number of the pet that you got. I don't know. That was six. And then, let's see who we got. These ones feel smaller, so this is probably another bird or something. Yeah, it's bird. Which are generally my least favorite little pet shops. Oh, interesting. So it's a green flamingo. I like that. That's very different. And then, let's see which charm we got. See, this is like a cute idea to have the little charm bracelet. I would have liked this as a kid. Okay, so it's another feather, I assume, because it's a bird. So it's fine. Um, so I have... But what, what is the calendar? What's the significance? I don't know. Okay. Anyway. It says 150 plus to collect. Oh, yeah, because there's... um, You could buy sets and stuff. Okay, so you're lucky if you get all the trash ones, but you're super lucky if you get... The uncommon ones, but you're ultra lucky if you get the rare ones. Okay, so I really, really want this one, the sea turtle. Um, ooh, 
the chameleon. <gasps> and this cat, there's two cats in a chameleon. All right, we're going back. Next time I go to Five Below, I'm gonna get more of these. Okay, so the charm number and then day of the week. But I didn't get any days of the week. It's just a picture of a calendar. Oh, it's saying today. Okay, so let's see my fortunes. Charm icon color, both of mine are purple. Oh, charm color, so yellow. So I'm yellow and I'm getting the cat on number one. Oh no, okay, so cat one, so I get, you will enjoy laughter. Um, and today is Wednesday, on vacation. Never going on vacation. Hasbro, okay, anyway. <laughs> number six is you will enjoy adventure on vacation. It's not timely for this current world situation, but cute. Okay, next I have an actually problematic amount of My Little Ponies. So I actually haven't bought My Little Ponies, especially brand new, in a long time. Yeah, here's my $50 receipt. Um, I haven't bought My Little Ponies in a long time, so I'm excited about them. Uh, so I got the Sea Pony Babies. I think I have them all. I missed out on them when they were in stores and I was really bummed about it. So finding them all on clearance for $3 each at Five Below is kind of a flex. I got this pink and green one. I think this is all of them. I got this blue and white one. I got this purple and orange one and this green and yellow one. Cool. Me likey. Um, I didn't get them when they were in stores just because I wasn't... I was in college. I was in my first year at my college and I had... I didn't really have a job. Well, I, I did get a job at one point. Oh, I'm shocked that it's still in there because the blister's peeling. I got a job, but um, I was working at the American Girl store, so all my money went towards that. But I was just miserable. That was the worst I've ever, like, worst depression I've ever been in my entire life. And it was clinical that time. Well, all the time, I guess. But, um, and there was a lot of cool stuff coming out, but I could not possibly get it, so... But that's not why I was upset or anything. Anyway, these actually pay homage to the original Sea Ponies because they have little suction cups that I can't stick to anything here because this is all wood. Here, Leggy, I'm gonna stick it to you. I'm kidding, Mama. I like that she's just here like a brick and the camera's actually focusing on her. I keep seeing the little focus square move to her. Um, but anyway, these are like are like the original Sea Ponies with the little suction cups. So you get um, the Sea Pony with the suction cup and then a little accessory that suction cups and then the little pet so this one is a seahorse just like a sea pony but the sea ponies are technically hippogriffs so i guess it's fine um all right this one the blister's not peeling up so i'm gonna have to peel it up yeah these ones are like really not very well adhered at all all right next up we have this one has a blue starfish and a completely different shape for theirs and ah oh, she has the same pro she has the same problem as Princess Sky Star. All right, well, she's gone. Do all of them have that? Oh, they do. Why are the pupils facing two different directions? I dropped the pony, so uh, there's an octopus. <laughs> all right, next up we have... I honestly, if the suction cups actually work well, we have an orange starfish. If the suction cups actually work well, once I get like a real shelf for my My Little Ponies, I can like suction cup the Sea Ponies to the side of the display. That'll be kind of cool. All right, so this one has a repeat little shell holder, but that's totally fine because it's a slightly different color. But even if it wasn't, it's fine because um, it's just a little holder. And then this is the Sea Pony, the baby Sea Pony. I just hate that the eyes face two different directions like that. It means you can't face them forward. And then this one has a pet baby whale. And then the last one. Oh, I did not realize they all had names. I'm not gonna figure, I'm not gonna go find out, but this one's name is Ocean Gem, and this one comes with a crab, and I like this one's color scheme the best, probably, too. So, Magenta Starfish. Um, so this is my favorite one, and look, their thing is totally different. It's like, I don't know if it's a reference to a specific animal, or if it's just a bubbly shell, but I like it. And this sea pony is blue and white, and I love the little, like, fin hooves. They're so cute, this one's really cute. And Ocean Gem is a cute name. And then a crab, and I am a crustacean paleontologist, if you didn't know, so I like crabs. Anyway, I've never studied crabs before though. I've done lobsters and branchiopods, natostricans. Anyway, next I got two 
My Little Pony the movie figures. I just got this one on an impulse at the first Five Below I stopped at because I didn't find what I was actually looking for there. So I just kind of got this Pinkie Pie. I'm probably going to leave her in the box though because it's just like adds flavor to the collection to just have some stuff in the box every now and then. And this one's kind of cool with like the balloon. I don't know. Um, but Tempest. I needed Tempest. So... I never ended up getting her even I had her in my hand multiple times like I was gonna get her and then I never did and I really like her song in the movie these blisters are not adhered well at all um I really really liked her song in the movie and I just really liked the movie in general but again I wasn't really buying ponies at the time um so it's nice to be able to catch up and she was like five dollars and look at her little armor too so you can see does it actually come all the way off or yeah, I think it's just really stuck down because it's been she's been on the shelf for years. But yeah, a good find. I did not already have it. A Tempest Shadow figure. And this one's actually really nice and the pupils are placed competently. I just don't understand. This happened with some little pet shops too and it makes me not like them. But like, how did they pass so many layers of the toy creation process and nobody said, you know what? Let's make pupils either face left face right, face forward, up, down, but not like, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, next are these uh, G4.5. Well, these are considered G4.5. Are these like G4.75? I don't know. These are, po oh, Pony Life is probably what they're called. I got these Pony Life figures. I really like the Pony Life figures, but they never really, sh they showed up in stores for like a second and then they were gone and they never came back. So I didn't end up getting them. Or I got some, but I, I was missing these two for sure. I think I'm missing Rarity, but I wasn't 100% sure and I didn't want to double, so I'll have to check, and then if I am missing her, go get her. I definitely don't have Applejack, though. So, yeah. Um, so I have Pinkie Pie and Rainbow Dash. I'm not going to open them on camera. Or, I will. I was going to say, it's just not... It's literally just peeling a blister back. It's not that mind-blowing, but I'll do it. Okay. So you get an access. It's like a, like a bow and some rubber bands, whatever. Um, and then a comb. And the pony. So I love the hair on these specifically. It's so soft and fun to play with. And the body molds are so gorgeous. It's such a shame we're not going to get very many ponies from this because G5 is already coming. Um, but these didn't do so hot. It's fine. Pinky's really cute. And I love, like, the little Clydesdale feet. They're really, really cute. And the, the cat ears. I don't know. I know a lot of people hate them, but I really, really like them. Um, and then this Rainbow Dash. Um, these were five each, which is, like, the standard cost of a My Little Pony across all generations. That's what they retailed for. So I'm happy to pay five. Um, there's a white comb. The random accessories. And then Rainbow Dash. Her hair is really, really vibrant and pretty. Um probably the same as all the other Rainbow Dashes in G4, but I actually only have like two Rainbow Dashes from G4, I think, so haven't gotten to unbox a lot of them. And look how stinking cute she looks in this art style. Like, I love her little wings, and the cutie marks are placed really goofily far down because they can't get past the like wings, I guess. That happened on the regular G4s too. I always thought that was annoying. You'd think they would come up with something to not do that, but whatever. And she's really, really cute. I like her eye color a lot in this art style because the eyes are so big and, like, less separated from the skin tone, fur tone. Is it fur on horses or is it just hair? I don't know. Um, horse girls, let me know. Um, but the... You get to see them much more up close, and I think the color scheme on Rainbow Dash is really pretty. And, yeah. What is this? <laughs> Paul, I got this this turkey leg here okay and then finally the reason I went to five below in the first place this was like I didn't get all the ones that exist I got three of them but I got the two I actually wanted so um so first I got this Twilight I just got her because she was there and I don't have her yet and yeah so these are very interesting figures so they're they're cheapy I believe they're actually made for five below but I honestly have no idea I've just only heard of them being found at five below I've been trying to get them for a long time, uh, but I really don't want to go into a Five Below store, so I'm glad I didn't completely miss out because of that. Um, but these are so interesting because they're not, like, painted. They only get to have the eye color, the cutie mark, and that's it. Uh, but they're really cute. Like, the molds are fantastic, so it's such a shame. Um, like, they've got twine. I really appreciate using twine instead of plastic, Hasbro. 
Hasbro, like, actually, co- they said they committed to not using plastic in their packaging, and I hope they truly follow through with that. And Twilight looks super cute. The head's, like, on what is almost a ball joint. I don't know how to describe it. It doesn't have a full range of motif. Oh, I think it actually does. I think the hair's just blocking it. Um... Really cool, actually. I really like that because mo- all My Little Ponies ever are on a swivel joint and these are on kind of a ball joint. They can look up and down and that's kind of different because most ponies are like this. My Little Ponies are not for people who want to like pose them and stuff. It's not, you're not going to get much out of it, but these are kind of impressive. So hopefully the G5 figures have this too. And then Gusty, I really, really wanted Gusty. So I'm really happy that she exists. I just noticed that the tails are articulated, which is awesome. Um... Usually I don't prefer having molded hair on My Little Ponies, but honestly, I have a hundred million brushable ones and I never brush them, so it's fine. And I think these are super cool and I love that they're G1s. Thank you, Hasbro. Um, I hope that they do this more in G5 because they didn't really do it much in G4. We got Minty after years, years after that prototype leaked. Years. We finally got a Minty and she was playset exclusive. And then they made a G4.5 Minty, who I still don't have, because I think she was also exclusive to a playset. And then there's also one of those, like, Pony Life fashion pony equestria girl things, Minties, that I missed out on. She is $50 on Amazon now. Score! I hope I can find her soon, though, because I really, really love Minty. She's my favorite pony. Um, And I just, I really like Gusty. I think she's gorgeous, and I love her color scheme. And I guess... Hasbro generally doesn't do this, because I think they just are, like, lazy and don't want to... Maybe it costs money to renew your copyrights, I have no idea, but they never, or trademarks, they don't renew their trademarks for old pony names, so a lot of them just get taken, and that's why in G4, they were originally all meant to be G1 ponies, well, a few were going to be, no, they were all G1s, weren't they? They were all going to be G1 ponies, but they had to be switched to G3 ponies, names and designs, because the Hasbro did not renew their trademarks. <laughs> um, Alright, and then Fizzy, who is basically meant to... <laughs> And she's really cute. Because this is even, like, the hairstyle they give Minty in the um, in the G4 art. And she's really cute. I really like Fizzy. Um, but, like, aren't these so cool? Like, imagine if they did a whole set of these. I really hope before G5 comes out that they release another set of these to Five Below. They probably won't. Um, but they're really, really cool, and I really like them. So, these are the reason I went to Five Below today. This is $15. I don't know where the rest went. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and please give me your feedback. Um, let me know if you want more Pony and Little Pet Shop stuff. I get comments sometimes that are like, show us your ponies and your Little Pet Shops, and I have a ton of them, but nobody watches the videos, and that's fine. I'm used to nobody watching my videos, but if I upload a video on a day, because I upload every single day, if I upload a video that absolutely nobody watches and it tanks, it tanks worse than usual, then YouTube, like, lowers my priority in recommending videos and I know that's not like that big of a deal but I am trying to transition this to being my job <laughs> more more so so yeah but I'd love to make pony videos that was actually what when I first started my channel that was what it was uh, this was the My Little Pony channel well I was doing like skits with my brother and then I did some My Little Pony videos, and then I got some creepy comments from bronies, and I was like 14. I was like, ah! Or, I was like 12 or 13. So I, like, I just stopped cold turkey, and then I went to Monster High and Winks and never went back. Um, but I have a ton of My Little Ponies. I absolutely love them. They're a big de- They're a big part of my life, and a, uh, the Littlest Pet Shops as well. So I would love to do videos on them. And I have tons of stuff to catch up on, and I am still regularly purchasing them. So let me know. Anyway, thank you guys so, so much for watching for all this time. Bye! Bye. Oh, your eyes were open. I didn't think you were asleep. Oh, look at that. Okay, bye.